company which Raj has made is technology. This is important for me to clarify that uh, people really take it in the existing context and say, are you doing charity or business? And I want to be upfront very clear that my role is in the achieving the goal and whatever happens in the company which he has created or many other companies is to achieve that end. And our resolve is that we know that no technology could be held back to go to people uh, uh, because of the economic reasons for a long time, but it may take 40 years before it percolates down to the uh, less privileged people. So we said that let's try and see whether we can interface in between and expedite this incubation period and shorten the period and make the technology affordable. Uh, so, Vadiguti Technology is a very, very nascent uh, company, which uh, I would have very little to do. Of course, I'll coordinate, but uh, it would really grow as one of his businesses, and uh, we are in a marketplace, and it would be like any other company which would uh, get into a profit-making venture with, uh, of course, quote-unquote, uh, uh, within the ethical standards and uh, foundation would have its activity. Now, since May, we have uh, made certain progress and the thing in uh, purple you see are already the institutes we have signed the legal uh, or we are in the process of the final stage. Uh, Medanta is one of the largest uh, medical facility in India and we launched in this November. And our trend is to, uh, our model is to really make multi-specialty institute within the institutes, which uh, we are able to have our model implemented. And uh, uh, so we have already in Delhi, and in the first quarter we would have in Mumbai and Hyderabad, and hopefully uh, at Alston, Belgium. So what would foundation do? Foundation, unfortunately, is not, uh, so far doesn't have any consistent income head, but it has expenditure head. And we are trying to approach the growth of the field of robotics. Uh, let me tell you that uh, when I talk of robotics, don't take it me, uh, exchange it with the word Da Vinci, because according to us, we have a path from maximally invasive surgery to no surgery. Da Vinci happens to be a point in that journey. And foundation is uh, looking for new technologies which would make the human life comfortable. And some of the programs are uh, uh, like uh, collaborative quality initiative I'll talk about. We would like to look for all areas of facilitating education and research. Uh, this is a very crucial point. While we're working in India, we realized in these three institutes that it is very hard to find a multi-specialty, fully trained uh, robotic manpower. We have people who are fairly experienced and committed uh, to do general surgery, I mean, say, the open surgery, and that is the challenge with the foundation. Uh, the usual, they cannot be dislocated at this point in their career for long-term fellowship and mentorship. So th that's the challenge for the foundation. How do we uh, evolve a good training program for them? Uh, we are uh, in the process of setting up uh, a very comprehensive one-stop robotic educational portal. And that's where we seek your cooperation, that the portals and educational portals cannot be run by any organization until the fraternity contributes, it would be in the form of a journal contribution. Uh, next uh, meeting we would be planned to have in Delhi, and very soon you'll receive Save the Date card. This would be a multi-specialty meeting and a global one, and we plan to run about 35 courses, including the introductory courses. Uh, tentative dates are 24th to 27th of February. There, there, there may be a few weeks before we really formally send you save the date card, but I would 
uh, expect a lot of the ardent followers of the IRS who have been coming year after year for our meeting would be in India. Uh, besides uh, uh, the attraction of this multi-speciality meeting, India offers a lot in terms of tourism and sightseeing. So, Collective Quality Initiative, already we have taken, uh, inspired by Dr. Menon's uh, thinking on the, that there is a tremendous uh, paucity of uh, high level of evidence and which confuses uh, people. Everybody's talking of single center study. And it is very hard for any organization or an institution to take uh, this initiative and we thought foundation is the right thing. And uh, Ronnie, I wanted him to be here. Ronnie Abaza is the coordinator. The whole uh, scheme is simple because it's quite simple for us. We are quite associated with the software business and we are setting up a, a shop in India where we are working out with the software where we could help centers, those who have very valuable data, to preserve data in a uniform pattern. And then uh, no data would leave their center if it is identified. Like any other registry, we want to take the merge sterile data and mix it up with for retrospective and prospective studies. And we have realized that the foundation would really support uh, people who have good uh, the clinical material but are not able to publish because they are not within the confines of the academic institutions, so we plan to support them. Another activity is really because we would have a series of institutes rolled out by 2012. We want to leverage the regulatory mechanisms, the strengths of the institution to, to create critical masses and uh, uh, to really get into high-end technology, new procedure development, new specialties, and uh, new techniques to really, uh, you know, which would bring in. And that's a kind of open-ended innovation wherein uh, you leverage the strengths. And the foundation would use its business acumen in terms of uh, uh, trying to help the organization to have achieve IPRs and the guests get the best of their research. Mm -hmm.